Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Hamad Tariq Janjua and welcome to Geology Online. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below and also turn the notification on for the latest update. You can also suggest me any topic if you want me to prepare a presentation for you. So let's begin our topic for today. As a human, the earth is everything for us from the smallest grain size up to the space and time. We always have a question that the how did this all begin? Multiple scientific theory around the globe try to explain the mystery about this planet. However, the most widely accepted theory is the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory states that the universe began as a hot and dense zone, only a few millimeter wide and it was similar to a black hole. About 13.5 billion years ago, this hot and dense zone exploded violently. And from this explosion, matter, energy, space and time were created. Due to the explosion of this hot and dense zone, the two stages of universe evolution era begins, called the radiation era and matter era. These eras defined by key events that helped shape the universe. Right after the Big Bang explosion, the radiation era came. This era named the dominance of radiation. This era made up of eight smaller stages known as epics. This era occurred in the universe for the first thousands of years. Planck era began right after the explosion of Big Bang. During this era, there was only energy and gravity along with strong nuclear forces. At the end of the Planck era, the key event split the gravity. During the Grand Unified Era, the nuclear forces broke away. The next was the beginning of the Inflationary Era, during which the universe expanded rapidly compared to the previous eras. During this era, the universe grew from the size of an atom to the size of an orange. During this era, the temperature was very high. During the Quark Era, all the components of the universe were available. But due to very high temperature, it was literally impossible for subatomic particles to form. But during the Hadron epoch, the temperature dropped dramatically and atoms started binding together to form neutron and proton. But during the lepton and nuclear era, the neutron and proton changed significantly. The first chemical element which is helium in this universe were created during this era which is nuclear era. After the ability of universe forming chemical elements, the matter era began. The matter era represents three features of epic which is atomic, galactic and stellar. The first epic of matter era was atomic era. During this era, the universe temperature cooled down for the first time and also for the first time the electron attached to nuclei. This process created the second element which is hydrogen and it was created during the galactic era. And during the stellar era, star begins to form and the earth planet too. Due to the formation of star and heat within the star caused the transformation of helium and hydrogen into different elements. In the periodic table, scientists have identified 90 naturally occurring elements and created about 28 others. These naturally elements become the building blocks for the universe. If we assume our universe as a process of six day formation, the day one would be the earth covered by water, light, the day two atmosphere and sky, day three dry land, plant and fruit trees, day four sun, moon and stars, day five birds and sea creatures and day six would be the animal and humans.